What the fridge? Hey everyone, Valerian here for Shoost.co and today we'll take a look at Knights of Pen and Paper plus one edition from developer Behold Studios. In Knights of Pen and Paper Plus One Edition, you take on the role of a game master and characters who are, in turn, taken on the role of fantasy characters. In other words, it's a characterception. Let me start by saying whether or not you've played Dungeons & Dragons before, you'll never really feel lost through the game. Maybe you'll be confused by the dice roll system, but after a while that's all your eyes are going to be looking at. It speaks for itself and you really don't need a manual to understand what's going on in this click and point game, which in my case is a definite plus. You start up the game by choosing from several characters who all have their special attributes, which range from plus one bonus to attack to 50% discount on blacksmith upgrades. As you progress through the game, you'll be able to unlock new characters for you to play with, as well as new classes. The game contains loads of pop culture references. You can decorate your game room with a TARDIS, oh, I'm sorry, I mean a blue police box, and even find it in the desert close to a stargate. You can also buy Johnny 6, who is a reference for Johnny 5 from Short Circuit, to gain a permanent effect of 5% mana steal. All these little details which makes you smile keeps on going as your story unfolds and this is one good reason to keep playing for players like me who want to discover more of those references. As far as art style goes, the game is beautifully designed with state-of-the-art 8-bit pixels. It is very reminiscent of the 1990s RPGs and every background that appear as your story unfolds is packed with pixelated details. The turn-based combat system are filled with slashes, explosions, shiny healing sparkles, and even more. Although the chiptunes are well-made and engaging, if you're out there leveling a new character, the combat music will probably annoy you at a certain time. But then again, which RPG doesn't do that? Grinding to level up a character is in itself very monotone and annoying. The music being the same for hours on end makes you want to switch to your old characters and keep it that way. Speaking of grinding, there's not a whole bunch of it through Knights of Pen and Paper. With the right team setup, you can easily go through level 1 to 30 without really grinding at all. You'll probably spend more time in one spot fighting the same enemies only once you've unlocked new heroes and once you include a new player at your table. If you're comfortable with your team and not interested in leveling new characters, you'll probably be able to skip the whole grinding thing. There are many side quests for you to go through and to me, even though there's a lot of kill that many foes type of quests, it doesn't feel like I'm stuck doing the same thing over again. The character dialogues and exchanges between them and the NPCs makes your experience a dynamic one, never really leaving you bored. All in all, Knights of Pen and Paper is easy to learn, fun to play, and with over 40 achievements on Steam there are tons of content to go through. Behold Studios are planning on adding more content to the game, and they even recently removed microtransactions from it. You can grab Knights of Pen and Paper for $9.99 US, or even get the Deluxe Edition for $14.99. The Deluxe Edition contains exclusive items and in-game gold, but you don't need those to really enjoy the game. So to sum it up, Knights of Pen and Paper is really fun, casual, funny, and it's a tabletop feel game you can probably play for hours on end with a different soundtrack in the background. I give Knights of Pen and Paper Plus One Edition a beautifully pixelated 8.5. For Shoes.co, I'm Valerianne, and I'll see you next time. What? What the fridge? <laughs>